Spider-Man has just released for PlayStation 5 and apparently it is quickly becoming one of PlayStation's best-selling games ever. Insomniac Games has been carrying PlayStation this generation with a little help from Santa Monica and Guerrilla Games. However, both Insomniac Games and Guerrilla Games have dormant franchises that I'm pretty sure plenty of fans would love to see make a return. Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet & Clank A Rift Apart are both phenomenal games released on this generation's hardware, but Insomniac Games hasn't always been just the Spider-Man machine. In fact, they even made a game that some of us at one point or another thought could rival the powerhouse that is Halo. Resistance Fall of Man to me leaned more the Gears of War route with similar looking creatures and it being a bit more gritty than Halo. The gunplay was fantastic, the graphics given the time it came out were amazing and it all ran on PS3 hardware. Given what Insomniac Games has done for both Spider-Man and Ratchet & and Clank, I can only imagine how good a remake or even a soft reboot of Resistance could do for PlayStation. Especially given that it is a first person shooter game and PS is looking to go with more live service games. This could be the perfect candidate just for that. Now the only thing that sucks about that is the fact that it's still Insomniac Games putting PlayStation in their backpack. So of course there are other games that PlayStation could bring back and even add some of those live service elements into. Of course a lot of us are waiting for The Last of Us Faction, seeing it was a post originally dropped with The Last of Us 2, but they claim to have gotten even more ambitious so now it has to be its own standalone game. So since we have no idea when that's coming, what about Killzone? Killzone was another one of those shooters that was underrated because it came out at a time where Halo was still great, Gears was amazing, Battlefield was doing it, and COD was still... COD. The thing about Killzone is the story that it was trying to tell could rival any shooter's story, and PlayStation has some of the best storytelling, so it only makes sense to me that they would bring back one of the best shooters that they've ever created and sprinkle a little bit of that Sony magic on it. I mean, Guerrilla Games has been killing it with the Horizon series, but I'm sure they are more talented than just sticking to one game, especially given that Xbox at this point is the king of the shooter genre. PlayStation can make a game that has those story elements that only PlayStation is known for with the gameplay of an amazing shooter. So I know what you're thinking, Fly Guy, you've only mentioned shooters thus far, so what's the next one you're gonna say? SOCOM? And as much as SOCOM would be a great way for PlayStation to possibly ramp up themselves to possibly have to go against COD in the future, that's not the game I would like to see back. Actually, I talked about the game I would like to see return to PlayStation in my last video about three games Xbox could bring back, so go um check that out. Now if you watched that video, you know there was one game above all that I would love to see come back for Xbox and that was Prototype. So you can probably guess which game I would like to see come back for PlayStation and that's its twin cousin, Infamous. Before we had this new generation of Spider-Man games, a wall running and superpowers, we had Infamous. Infamous fits the PlayStation video game mode to a T and it's crazy we haven't seen an Infamous game since 2014. In a time where PlayStation continues to remake and remaster 3-4 to four year old games, why not remake something even older with modern tech? Electrical powers to cause destruction or even save people you choose the path in which you want to follow? Honestly outside of Spider-Man 2, I genuinely think this game could be the best game for PlayStation PlayStation period. Yes, better than God of War, better than Horizon. Mechanically, I already feel like this game was ahead of its time and you could only make it better with today's hardware. Personally, these are the three games I would most like to see Infamous being number one. What games would you like to see return to PlayStation and have PlayStation show some love to? Let me know and comment below. And if you enjoyed this content, go ahead and like the video for your boys, subscribe and turn on those notifications if you guys are new. I really appreciate everybody for coming through. And if you ever want to catch me streaming, go ahead and check me out on Twitch and on Kick. I do stream on both platforms, so come check your boy out. Again, it's your boy FlyGuyGBG. Other than that, I'm out. <laughs>